How's everybody doing? Missed you guys. Oh, you did not. What's going on? Just catch my breath. It's too hot out there. God's country. Of talent for teams this year. So could you just talk maybe about how excited you are about all your new guys? Sure. So in free agency, we um, signed Jakeem Grant, which I thought was a, a piece that we were missing. Um, you know, I've been part of some really good uh, teams in the past. Where we've had excellent returners, whether it was Percy Harvin or Cordero Patterson or Marcus Sherrills in Minnesota. And when I got here, we've had guys that have done a really, really nice job of securing the ball, which is obviously, excuse me, <coughs> first and foremost, securing the ball is the number one thing, obviously. Uh, so we've done a nice job there, but we need more production. We need to uh, up the ante a little bit. You know, we're playing in my, what, in my opinion, is the best division in football when it comes to special teams. Every team is really good. In order to keep up with those guys, we needed to sign a good returner, and I think we did that. So I'm excited about Jakeem. Uh, the punting game, obviously, we were very inconsistent last year, and we had to make the change. And, and then down the stretch, you know, we had, you know, Dustin did a good job as a veteran punter and brought a veteran presence to our team. But having these two young guys fight it out, having Corey and, and Joe fight it out, it'll be a great competition. They both had a really good day yesterday, uh, Thursday. They both punted the ball extremely well. They bring a different element. They have both are very, very strong, uh, very good directionally, um, which we need to do a better job with. And so I'm excited about them. And of course, in the draft, you know, drafting a kicker in the fourth round, which is uh, not that unusual, but doesn't happen that often. Um, I thought Andrew, you know, pulling the trigger on that one was big for us. And, uh, you know, we needed to have more consistency there. We were very good on kickoffs a year ago. We, we should continue that, I hope to, with the kicker we have. It starts with the kicker. And then obviously, we have a very difficult venue to kick in. And then Kate is, he'll come in, he's big, he's strong. Uh, he's very confident. He understands his craft. He's young. Um, we've already had him down to the stadium, I think, three times. We're going again tomorrow. We're going to go again during the uh, mini camp in a couple of weeks. So the more confident he is in our stadium, the, the better kicker he will be because he's got all the talent in the world. We just got to keep getting him to be more consistent. We talked to you in January. You talked about drafting a kicker and how mm -hmm. you don't draft somebody just to draft somebody. It has to be the right guy, the right fit. Yeah. I guess in your evaluation of Cade, uh, what made him the, the right guy to make that move? He is a kicker that obviously won a national championship as a freshman. You guys all talked, you know, we all talked about the fog kick. Um, but he was 15 of 19 for 50 plus. Um, he made, uh, I think he missed six kicks from 40 to 49 as a, as a freshman. And ever since then, he's been unbelievable. So he's a lights out kicker. He loves, he loves the big stage and he's performed in the big stage. And I think that was really big part of the evaluation. So I spent extra time with him at the combine, the normal time. Then I spent extra time with him the next day, uh, went down to Baton Rouge and took him out to eat and got to know him a little bit, what makes him tick, uh, uh, understood, got to f a good feel for how confident he is. It's not, I don't want to say cocky, but it's, I think he's very confident um, in what he is as a kicker, what he is as a person, um, which I really liked a lot. And then the next day we watched tape from the combine. Didn't have a great combine, so it made no excuses. We mentioned a couple things. We talked about a couple technique deals. And then we went out and he had a really good workout for me. And then, of course, I stayed in touch with him in the pre-draft process. And then watch his pro day. He had a great pro day. So everything leading up to the draft was very, very positive with Cade. And to me, the sky's the limit. I mean, he could be really, really good, and I'm excited about him. And, we, and he is the right guy. He's the right guy for our, our stadium, for our city, and for the division that we play in. You guys made that trade on Friday night of the draft. Were you thinking in the fourth we're going to get this guy or maybe even speaking up? Or when we made the trade, I'll be honest with you, I had tears streaming down my face. I was a very happy man. And then we, I think we traded the first pick of the fourth round, right? Is that right? And I was like, oh, boy, here we go. So, but, yeah, I think once we made that trade, we had talked about it. Of course, I'm not privy to all the information, nor do I want to be. i got too much going on in this little brain of mine. But um, once we made that trade, you're right. I knew we had an opportunity to, to we were going to get him in the fourth round. And I'm looking at all the teams before and after and who's coming up in the draft and who needs a kicker. And I was worried about some other teams. And, but when Andrew pulled the trigger in the fourth, fourth, uh, fourth round, that was a big deal. I don't know what this is statistically true throughout the league, but is that 40 to 49 uh, range for some reason more difficult than even beyond 50? Like Chase last year, he was 4 of 10 from that, 40 to 50, right. uh, 49, right. but fine after that. And, and you just mentioned that same thing about Kate. Yeah, well, that was, that was freshman year. And ever since then, he's been really good. I, I think that's kind of your money kick, 40 to 49. 50 plus, you're like, you're hoping to make 60, 65% maybe. But 40 to 49 in this league, you got to be 90%. And, and uh, 
That's where we struggled a little bit down the stretch last year. And, you know, did he make those big kicks? Sure. He made the 50-plus, made a 57-yarder in our stadium and, and did some really good things for us. Uh, but down the stretch, he, he, you know, we missed too many and hurt our football team too many times. And we got to make sure we're, we make those kicks. And as you guys know, most of these games are, are one-score games in our league, and especially in our division. So we got to make sure that we make those kicks to help our team. you considering they had such a good specialist there. Yeah. Just what have you seen from him in, in the little bit that you've gotten to see with him doing that? Just by watching him kick field goals, you knew he had a big leg. And then he confirmed that for us at the combine. He confirmed it for the, his my workout I had with him and then the pro day workout and then the work we've had here. He'll be fine on kickoffs. He'll be, he'll be, he's got a big leg. He doesn't try to overkick it and overdo it. He trusts his technique. And really, the other day, we had a little bit of a tailwind. We talk about we like to hang it up and cover because we were so good in cover last year. So we're trying to work on that. And he couldn't really do it. He had too much wind behind him. He kept knocking him 70, 75 yards, 4-3, four, 4-4 four, four hang time. So he definitely has the leg strength. We just have to refine exactly how we want certain kicks kicked. And he's got to understand this is not college football you know, where they like to just bombs away and kick touchbacks. We're not like that. We're gonna have we're gonna have a time. We need touchbacks, but we have hang kickoffs. We got liners. We got squibs. Squibs. We got mortars. We got surprise on sides. Must on sides. So there's a whole different, a uh, whole bunch of clubs in his uh, his bag that he needs to get good at, and that's the stuff that he really needs to work on because he really never did it in college, uh, but he has the ability to do so. What's the theory of not bringing in another kicker? And is, have you ever been in a camp with one kicker? Yeah, um, we've done it before. I think we just have to limit his kicks because he is young. He wants to kick all the time, so he, and it, which is good. He wants to continue to get better. So I'll make sure I rein him back a little bit. I think the theory was we drafted him. He's going to be our guy. Let's let him take every rep. And I think because he needs to understand uh, how important each situational rep is, I'd rather not waste it on a guy who's not going to be our kicker. Um, we have a punter competition where we weren't going to have a kicker competition. He was going to be our guy. And I think every rep he gets with the team, every rep he gets in the stadium is going to make him better. So at the end, that was our thinking. It's, it's a great question because uh, a lot of teams, I think Cincinnati brought in their guy and kept some camp, camp competition. But I think everybody knew who the kicker was going to be in Cincinnati. And I think the same thing is, is true here. So I like the fact that Andrew, and that was his idea, like, what do you think? I'm like, hey, I'm all for it. We'll make sure we do a good job of limiting his kicks. We don't overkick him in camp. Yeah, yeah, one more. Uh, kickers on the practice squad. We'll end up having a kicker, I'm sure, on practice squad at some point. We'll, we'll have what we did in the past. We'll, whoever doesn't make a team, some of the guys that did really well in camp around the league, uh, we'll have a tryout, you know, unless they sign with the team that they're with, whatever the case may be. But I, I, would, I would assume we would have a, a punter or a kicker as a practice squad player. I don't know for sure yet. Yes, sir. Sure. Were, you, were you joking, or did you really get emotional when you guys <laughs> moved into draft? Well, I'm an emotional guy, man. Come on. I know you are, but I can either confirm nor deny that I've, I had I shed tears that night. What? I guess what was going through your mind in that moment? That, that well, I knew we had we had talked about if there was a, a uh, opportunity in the fourth round if we traded. And I knew Andrew does a great job with all the trades and everything. Um, but once we made that trade, I'm like, okay, game on. And my problem is I had to wait till Saturday. It's a tough two days, but yeah, I, I'm not going to confirm or deny that I shed tears of joy. And then even more tears of joy when we did pick him. <laughs>